Now I want to show you my basic paleo gluten-free base that I have for any cake. It's gonna be just a white base and the good thing about it is you can have fun with it. You can make a chocolate if you add some cacao powder and, co and chocolate chips. This time I'm gonna use blueberries and orange. You can have cranberries fresh, you can have nuts, whatever it is that you like. Likewise with the extracts, have fun with it. You can just like mix and match. This is how good of a base this is gonna be. Don't be afraid of what's gonna happen. What's the worst that can happen? It's not gonna be delicious and next time you will learn what not to do. So let's get together, have fun and bake. First, what we're going to do is we're going to use our mixer and we're gonna have the whisk attachment. I put four eggs because today I am gonna use this loaf pan, which is red and is perfect for Valentine's Day. But I'm gonna use the whisk attachment, four eggs, room temperature. That's the most important thing. The eggs need to be at room temperature. What we have this year, what we do now, we're going to grease the pan far away, just because I don't like to take any risk. I use coconut oil. I know this is fast, this is coconut oil. We're gonna leave this here at high, at high speed for a little bit of time, okay? This is after four minutes. Can you see the edge? This is what is gonna give us the... So this is exactly what we are looking for. You see how much air is in here? Because we are not going to use flour, we need this air for the air, for the actual cake to fluff. After a few minutes that we have the eggs and the maple syrup, we drizzle it slowly. While this is happening, actually I took the, the time to grate my orange and I, I might use half of the, the juice as well. I wash my blueberries and I make sure they're dry because otherwise they're not gonna, they're just gonna re release a lot of liquid. And this is the coconut oil. So I scoop it out and what I'm gonna do is I put it in the microwave. Once it's liquid, it's very easy to measure. We have our coconut oil, it's already like water. Now we're going to start to put the almond meal. I am going to put the camera here so you can see what I'm doing. Here it is, okay. So we'll begin with the almond meal or almond flour. You know, the difference is almond meal, it has the, the skin of the almonds and this one is white. So we're gonna start with two cups of almond flour. We're just gonna leave it there. Don't even worry about it. Don't move it, nothing happens. We are going to put maybe two spoons of coconut flour. Everything is sinking. Don't worry. All is well. We're going to put salt. And we're going to do baking powder. I'm going to put the recipe, okay? And a little tiny bit of baking soda. I'm going to put the recipe. The last thing we're going to add is the oil. and the orange. Now this is the trick. What you want to do is you want to fold this. You do not want to lose the air. This is going to be a fluffy, delicious, full of air cake, okay? You just need patience with this. You see? This is what you need to do. It needs some tender, loving care. So this is the way the batter needs to look. I want to give you a little tip. If you feel the batter is too watery, that it's not thick enough like this, you can put just a little bit of coconut flour. But I am telling you, this is how much. Like, it's, it's a nothing. This is super heavy. Once you put half, you do likewise, 
you are just going to mix it and give it a minute and that then you're going to see how it thickens it thickened it out a lot so this is how it's supposed to be. after that we can take our blueberries that are washed and they're dry we fold them carefully we are ready to put it in the pan This is how it looks. Does it look a little weird? Maybe. I've just gotten used to it because like I bake a lot of those. The consistency might look weird, but I also want you to remember when you eat them, this is a different kind of cake. You spread the, the butter and also spread the blueberries. Don't, don't allow them to be all in one place because then they're gonna be so, it, it, it releases so much water that it's gonna be very moist in one side. So don't be afraid to mix it a little bit. Make sure the blueberries are everywhere. And this is 